Well, you've heard of classic bikes and you've heard of vintage bikes, and this is really a new classic to say the very least. I've got with me Steve Turton, who has built this amazing bike, if you can hear above the sound of a Harley. Steve, tell us a little bit. I haven't seen this bike. Lots of bikes like this, you'd seen some of the bike magazines. Why haven't I seen this one about? I've just made it. That's a good answer. <laughs> what, what was the inspiration for it? Uh, I like British bikes, but they were never powerful enough, and uh, they didn't have the reliability. Uh, not what I want, so I decided to build it, and uh, 18 months work, that's it. Did you have a, a wing before, or did you get it from a breaker's yard? No, 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 uh, it was American import, the engine's done 11,000 miles. Yeah. Uh, built the frame, built the tanks, built the handlebars, levers, brackets, I just designed it and made it. Well, it's absolutely brilliant, I mean, did you model it on anything from uh, museums? The, the tank in particular, that cylindrical tank, is that modelled on anything? Uh, I wanted something that was somewhere between uh, a Bruff Superior and an Indian, an old Indian. And uh, I couldn't do some of the, <laughs> the exotic mouldings, so uh, I decided on that. And uh, well, It really looks the best. And what about the bars? Have you made the handlebars? Yeah, yeah, I made those. Had a lot of problems, but uh, ended up making them from solid steel. It's absolutely amazing. And what about the guards? Can you tell us your secrets? I mean, have you made the guards or are they off from something else? Uh, well, the actual fins, uh, the guards, the fenders themselves are bought. Uh, we had them plated, built the brackets on, built all everything else. But uh, they're pretty much standard uh, mud guards. I mean, it's amazing, even the little side boxes, you've got a battery in one, I presume, and tools in the other? Yeah, battery and electrics. Uh, that's it, really. Uh, we've got two petrol tanks on there, uh, air horns, four cylinder, water cooled, elect electronic ignition shaft drive. I think you've got the reliability this time. <laughs> um, what's this on the right there? Is that hydraulic reservoir or expansion tank or what? Uh, yeah, it's, it's for the brakes. I wanted to stop this thing. Uh, <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> so there's three discs on it. So I've, I've kept some of the things that I really need uh, to improve really on the old design. So I've got discs, I can stop it and it'll pick its feet up. I, I can well imagine. And the front forks there, I take it the, the springs on the top are just for decoration. Yeah, yeah. So, sorry to spoil it. Well, uh, yeah, I couldn't afford the, the full springers, and uh, yeah, it just sets it off and uh, carries a nice theme, I think, for 1927s. Yeah. And you've even developed your own rear suspension then as well? Yes. Yeah, made that up. Uh, that's what, what do you do? You're, you're an engineer anyway, are you? No, I'm a podiatrist. But now we're just going to hear what this sounds like. doesn't sound much like a gold wing. <laughs> 